Hey there, Tony Stark here, a.k.a. Iron Man. Today, I'm going to tell you about the time we took our last stand against Thanos. This is The Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. Let's roll the tape. Having just fought an intergalactic scuffle with our periwinkle-hued pal Thanos, we returned home to find Earth missing, which was upsetting, to say the least. Just then, a signal came through. Avengers, come in. Avengers. Turns out Black Widow and Ant-Man, who we left behind to hold down the fort, had detected Thanos heading toward Earth, so they shrunk the entire planet down to a microscopic size. A great plan, though we were going to have to find another solution to the Thanos problem because it seemed like this one was taking a toll on Ant-Man. Think of something fast. I can't hold this for long. And speaking of that lavender leviathan, here Thanos comes and lands right on the moon. And now Captain America with some brilliant insight. We have to keep Thanos from finding Earth. Did I say Captain America? I meant Captain Obvious. Let's speed this up. We battled it out with Thanos on the moon and nothing really seemed to be making a dent. <laughs> Oh, that breath. I was simply going to shatter your whole world, but now I will break its spirit first. What, by breathing on it? People of Earth, your attempted at hiding will fail. Anyway, Thanos broadcast his boring PSA all around the world while I talked to Natasha about gathering the world's nations together to work in harmony to defeat him. Then Thanos remembered that the Watcher is also shacked up on the moon, so he paid him a visit and used his watching equipment to search for the Earth by sucking the information in through his forehead? Meanwhile, Black Widow was talking to the world leaders about giving us access to their power grids. They were not super receptive. <laughs> Unfortunately, Thanos found the Earth using the Watcher's gear, so he inflated the Earth like a giant beach ball and just took off to conquer it. We were about to follow him when his goons, AKA the universe's ugliest barbershop quartet, showed up. Let's speed this up a bit. We gave them a run for their money, and Black Widow continued banging her head against the wall, trying to get the world leaders to play ball, while we blasted off back to Earth to stop Thanos. He was about to cause Earth a whole lot of trouble. Prepare to bow before me. But not if I had something to say about it. What? Well, me and my latest and largest creation, look at this beauty. And the best part, she handles like a dream. Let's speed this up a bit. Thanos and I engaged in a heated bout of fisticuffs, and while I got a few good shots in, he eventually detonied my creation with a swift hit to the head. Of course, I was all right, but I did need a little bit of a breather. People of Cap here tried to ring his bell too. You'll never get our world, Thanos. But Thanos is a tough customer. With all the Avengers now taking a bit of a time out, I guess you could say, it looked like Thanos was about to take a victory lap. The Avengers are defeated. Just look at those faces. Is this the end of humanity? Starting with this guy kneeling before Thanos. Look at the arm on chin strap. I'm an Avenger. Well, wait a second. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I'm an Avenger too. You know, the sentiment is nice, but I hope you guys aren't looking to sign up for the pension plan or anything. I kid! These people came together, showed a lot of bravery, and most importantly, bought the real Avengers some time to recuperate. Ant-Man cut Thanos down to size, and the rest of the Avengers came back from our catnaps ready to fight. Meanwhile, Black Widow was still yada 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 with the world leaders, and unfortunately, Thanos came back to the fight re-energized. Wait, what's that? What? Oh, hmm, did I skip past something? I sure did. Let's rewind for a second. Turns out Black Widow was doing a lot more than yada yada yada. Either we all go down separately, or we all stand together as Avengers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just throwing that title around now, huh? But again, can't be too mad at it. The world united and gave us access to their power grids. We channeled all of that energy through my satellites, forming a giant red glowing soccer ball around the planet. <sighs> and ultimately blasted Thanos to smithereens. It just goes to show the one lesson we learn time and time again, as good as we are as individuals, we're even more powerful when we work together as Avengers.